cool. This was made about 150, 165 million years ago by a big meat-eating dinosaur. That is brilliant. This footprint suggests a big theropod of about 15, 20 feet in length, quite an animal. How can you be sure, though, that that's a dinosaur print? How is that made and, and left here? Yeah, so this animal, this dinosaur, has been walking along the beach, leaving its footprints in this sort of muddy coastal region. And over time, that mud would have hardened and been baked by the sun and then turned to stone. And then that's how they've been left here. So this is the footprints of giants? It is. We are literally standing in the same bed that dinosaurs were walking on. How big would it have been? No, no bigger than a Catherine dog. What are you doing here? Echinodon's name means hedgehog tooth, thanks to its spiky teeth. Why? Feeding on both plants and animals, Echinodon evolved to get its teeth into anything. And he thought, well, instantly, this must be some huge extinct reptile. This was something completely new, an extinct animal which has not been recorded in the Bible. That's controversial for a man of the cloth, then. This must have challenged quite a lot of ideas for him at the time, because, indeed, this was something completely new. In 1824, Buckland named this find Megalosaurus, which means great lizard. It's the world's first ever recorded account of a dinosaur. However, the term dinosaur had yet to be invented. Open this up, I'll pull it out. Now this is a piece of jaw from a dinosaur. It's called Nothetes destructor. Very, very cool name. Oh, what a lovely piece. Yeah, you see the detail of the teeth as well on there. Yeah. The serrations. When it was first described, it was considered to be a lizard, then a crocodile, and even a mammal. <laughs> and only very, very recently, a raptor. That was from here in That's Britain? That's it, the British raptor. Wow, where does it come from? <laughs> it comes from about an hour away from here. It's at the, on the Isle of Purbeck, the Jurassic Coast. How can they tell from this just tiny piece of jawbone that it belongs to a raptor? Because we only have this fragment, and we also have a couple of isolated teeth, we have to look at more complete remains of raptors all found across the world. So, what springs to mind the most famous velociraptor made famous by Jurassic Park? How like that velociraptor from the movie was this? Velociraptor would have been uh, about probably three feet tall. This group are from the UK amateur fossil hunters, who hold regular events across Britain. How have these very young paleontologists been doing? Lovely. What have you found? You found what? Bellum knives. Well done. See, the cool thing about these as well, these are bellum knives, so yeah. squid-like animals. But originally, a lot of people thought these were dinosaur teeth. Ammonite there. Well done. 